the tropics. For the very latest coverage, keep it on CBS 4 News. This is CBS 4 News at 7. We begin with a weather alert tonight. Tropical Depression 16 has formed off the coast of Nicaragua. The system probably possibly a threat for parts of South of Florida and the Gulf Coast. Locally, a flood watch is in effect for all the mainland South Florida tonight. What's been a very wet Wednesday. Chief Meteorologist Craig Setzer is joining us off the top at 7 o'clock. Good evening, Craig. Good evening. More rain in the forecast. Stormy weather, too, plus the thing in the tropics we're watching. Let's break it down for you tonight. First off, with what is in the tropics as of 11 a.m. this morning, National Hurricane Center started advisories on tropical depression number 16, and it's forecast to become a tropical storm. Uh, the next name in the list here is the end storm. Nate would be it. The last one was Maria, and this is the 5 o'clock advisory on tropical Tropical depression 16 moving to the northwest at 7. Forecast to come very close, if not over, northeast sections of Nicaragua as well as eastern Honduras. And then after that, forecast to move over the water. And it's during this time period that it gets over the water, starting on Friday into Saturday, that it's likely to intensify, possibly to a category one storm. Could even be stronger than that as the water is very warm here and the sheer forecast to be relatively low. Then after that, it's to the uh, northeast Gulf of Mexico. Time frame here is during the Sunday time, but some models suggest it'll be farther to the left here or west. Some models suggest it'll be a little bit closer to the east, but as you can see, that's the area of concern right now. And the center, which is tracked by the cone, is forecast to stay well away from South Florida. In fact, the wind speed probabilities do increase, especially along the north and northeast Gulf Coast. In the 30 to 40 percent range there, Tampa at about 20 percent, and here in South Florida only about a 3 percent chance. Key West uh, sitting probably around 10 percent, 13 percent in Havana. So the biggest threat for tropical storm force winds is going to be over the north and northeast Gulf Coast. Here's the way the system looks tonight. Doesn't have a real core to it yet. Big thunderstorms near the center, but you can clearly see the swirling going on there. The other thing we're watching, not related in any way to tropical depression 16, is this strong tropical wave that's headed our way and. It contains a lot of moisture. You can see it here showing up on the radar. It would be like a low end tropical storm for us. Very low end with tropical storm force gusts and some pretty good winds and a lot of rain too. In fact, here comes the latest band of very heavy thunderstorms now racing in. So if you're going to be out and about this evening, be on the lookout for that. Be ready to see cover from gusty winds and heavy downpours. Computer models suggesting this is, could be a very wet event. Flood watch is in effect. By the time we get to Friday, could see a widespread four to six inch rainfall amounts and maybe even some isolated, slightly heavier amounts. So a flood watch is in effect. Heavy storms increase as we go through the evening and overnight tonight and during the day tomorrow. Very stormy weather, strong winds with the heaviest storms and flooding rainfall. And then also we'll be watching the tropics for Nate as it comes up through the central Gulf of Mexico. Closest approach to us Friday and Saturday, but I think we're not going to feel much of it, just the moisture from it and more rain. More on that coming up. All right, Craig, thank you very much. And get the latest developments on Tropical Depression 16 anytime, anywhere with our CBS Miami weather app. Download it for free from the Apple or the Android store. And remember, Craig will have more about all of this tonight at 11 right here on CBS 4. Now at 7, words of support from President Trump in Las Vegas. The Commander-in-Chief consoling victims and thanking first responders. In the darkest moments, what shines most brightly is the goodness that thrives in the hearts of our people. That goodness is our lighthouse. Tonight, investigators focused on the gunman's girlfriend. They hope the woman they've dubbed the person of interest can answer the most puzzling question. Why did he do it? A lawyer for the suspect's girlfriend said a short time ago she is devastated by the deaths and the injuries, and he claims she had nothing to do with the massacre. Meanwhile, Nevada gaming regulators are now part of the investigation, too. They're searching through their records to see if there's anything to learn from the shooter's gambling history. All of this as President Trump visits with some of those victims. As President Donald Trump meets with victims and heroes from Sunday's deadly shooting, Las Vegas remains a city seeking healing and answers. We met patients that were absolutely terribly wounded, and the doctors, the nurses, all of the people at the hospital have done a, a job that's indescribable. During his visit, the president repeatedly praised the response of all those involved in the tragedy. Words cannot describe the bravery 
that the whole world witnessed on Sunday night. Americans defied death and hatred with love and with courage. When the word and the worst of humanity strikes, and strike it did, the best of humanity responds. On Tuesday, the Las Vegas Metro Police Department released this body cam video of officers responding to the terrifying scene Sunday night. The sheriff said the gunfire rained down for about nine minutes. The ATF says 47 weapons belonging to shooter Stephen Paddock have been recovered so far. The gunmen purchased rifles, shotguns, and pistols. Investigators trying to uncover why he built such an arsenal and why he brought two dozen guns to his hotel room at the Mandalay Bay Resort. This individual and this attack didn't leave the sort of immediately accessible thumbprints that you find on some mass casualty attacks. But last night may have brought them a step closer. Mary Lou Danley, Paddock's girlfriend, arrived in Los Angeles from the Philippines. Investigators hope to gain her insight into the 64-year-old retired accountant she shared a home with. Meanwhile, family members are left to grieve for loved ones lost, like Jenny Parks, a mother of two from California. I cannot think of any better words to describe her than saying she was dearly a precious angel that had been gifted to us. The Associated Press reports a person who has seen Mandalay Bay hotel records that have been turned over to investigators says they show Stephen Paddock asked for the two-room suite on the 32nd floor when he checked in last Thursday. The room wasn't available until Saturday, and he moved into it then. The number of deaths stands at 59 tonight. Some 31 of the more than 500 people hurt are still in critical condition. And tonight we're learning more about the victims. For example, 22-year-old Christiana Duarte of Torrance, California, was at the festival with her brother's girlfriend, Ariel Romero, who was wounded. She graduated in May from the University of Arizona with a degree in communications, and she was about to start a marketing job with the Los Angeles Kings hockey team, according to a family friend. And tonight, more survivors are also sharing their stories. Another example, Heather Melton, opening up about the moment her husband was hit by a bullet. People, mostly starting from the front of the crowd, just started running. And then I saw people falling. And I told Sonny that we should get down, and he said no, that we would get trampled. And so he just kind of wrapped his arms around me from behind, and we started running. And that's when I felt him get shot in the back. And we fell to the ground. And I was talking to him, and he was still breathing at that time. But then he stopped, and I started doing CPR on him. And there were still shots raining from everywhere, it felt like, for what seemed like an eternity. And I was screaming for somebody to help. Sonny Melton died of his injuries as she continues to mourn. Heather says messages and calls of support have helped her get through this awful time. Florida Democratic Senator Bill Nelson is sponsoring legislation that would ban bump stocks. That's a device that enables semi-automatic rifles to fire faster. Investigators say the Las Vegas killer had bump stocks on 12 of his guns. The proposal comes hours after Democrats called on Republicans in Congress to pass new gun laws. This man, he was a thief. He stole these lives, this joy, these futures. And what do our members here say? Nothing. A moment of silence. But we're prayerful. We're respectful. But it is no substitute for action. Republican leaders say now is not the time to debate gun control with an investigation still underway. Our team coverage moves now to Miami Beach. Police Chief Dan Oates understands very well what's happening in Las Vegas right now. He was the police chief in Aurora, Colorado, when a man went on a shooting rampage at a movie theater there. And he talked with CBS 4's Vanessa Borge about that. Here's part of their conversation. And what has it taught you as the police chief? How are you now going to implement the lessons? Because obviously you learned lessons in Aurora. What lessons did you learn then and then apply them and now with Vegas? Well, I think there's been some really good conversations on the national media and some of the, uh, some of the talking heads, law enforcement talking heads you've seen on some of the shows already about now we need to think differently about large gatherings, large public gatherings, and basically threats from, from high rises. Um, and we, we may have to do unusual things with regard to 
uh, high-rise buildings and where we place police officers and what inspections we do of those buildings before uh, a major event takes place, uh, you'll start to see law enforcement adapting and doing some of those things. Um, as a matter of policy, we don't discuss security here in Miami Beach and every police department I've run, we don't discuss in detail the steps we're going to take. But I can guarantee you that if there's a large gathering, planned gathering here in the city, uh, we'll be taking additional steps to take a look at um, uh, high-rise venues and how they might uh, be used as a platform. I, I hate to say it, but a platform to hurt people. And do you feel prepared, uh, as prepared as you can be for a situation like that here in Miami Beach? Well, the reality is we are an open society. We are uh, a wonderful, open, free society. Um, it is impossible to protect our society from one diabolical individual who wants to cause great harm. We can, we can do smart things as law enforcement to limit the exposure uh, some of the time and for our most critical events. But for the ordinary life of Americans, um, there's only so much law enforcement can do. It's, the responsibility is on each of us individually to see something, say something, be aware of aberrant behavior around us, be cautious about it, alert, alert authorities when you see something that isn't right, uh, invest in mental health care and mental health detection and those kinds of things, which this country could do more of. Those are the kinds of things that will prevent um, uh, an attack like this or might prevent an attack like this. And you can hear more from Chief Oates this Sunday on Facing South Florida. Join Jim DeFitti at 8.30 a.m. Sunday. I'm sure Jim will ask him about possibly changing gun laws. All right, well, still ahead tonight, lawmakers want answers about the sonic attacks that left 22 U.S. diplomats injured. The U.S. has retaliated by expelling Cuban diplomats. Florida Senator Marco Rubio, one of the many in Washington who want to know exactly what happened. We're hearing his reaction in just minutes. Also, encouraging news in the fight against Zika. A University of Miami researcher thinks he's found a treatment that can prevent people from getting the virus. And he's joining us live to explain how it works next. This is CBS4, your choice for real news. What timing? The payday isn't for a week. How about a cash advance? Yeah, I'll look into it. It worked for me. Yeah. And Scott Cash Advance, up to $500 with no credit checks. I look forward to the start of each day. It's because I love what I do. I meet with my patients and we find ways to improve their health. I know I'm making a positive impact on their lives and they do the same for me. It's why I've been an MCCI doctor for all these years. MCCI, all your medical needs under one roof. With all its mouth-watering flavors, delicious combinations, and unique ingredients, this dish looks complicated. That is, until you see how it starts. Just choose your seafood. Choose your flavor and pop it in the oven. Public Seafood Cook and Bag Dinners. They're simple, complete, and completely delicious. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Today we're going to talk about trucks. Right Which of these truck brands do you think offers best in class HD horsepower and the most capable off road mid size pickup? I go Ram. I would put it on Ford. Let's find out. Chevy. That's right, it's Chevy. They look amazing. Wow. It's killing it. Yeah, definitely. Trade up to this light-duty Silverado All-Star and get a total value of over $11,200. Or during Truck Month, get 0% financing for 72 months on our most popular Chevy trucks. See your South Florida Chevy dealer. Watch your Miami Dolphins take on the Tennessee Titans Sunday at 1 on CBS4. Sponsored in part by AutoNation. Drive pink at AutoNation. Help us drive out cancer fast. Visit AutoNation.com. Injured, pain, need help? Call. 1-800-TELL-ROBERT. I'm Robert Fensterscheid. Have you been injured, are in pain, and need help? Tell Robert. And remember, you can tell Robert anything. I'm an attorney. What's the damage? Ouch. That much? 
Okay, I'll be there this afternoon. When you need it to be payday before it's actually payday, there's AMSCA Cash Advance. Up to $500 fast with no credit checks. Zero percent interest for 40 months at Brandsmart USA. Lawmakers are demanding more answers about who and what caused serious health problems for American diplomats in T Cuba. Today, senators held a closed-door hearing with officials from the State Department. CBS 4's Weijia Jiang has more from Capitol Hill. Members of the Senate Foreign Relations Committee received a briefing Wednesday from State Department officials about the unexplained attacks in Cuba that have impacted at least 21 American diplomats and their families. Committee Chair Bob Corker called the lack of answers absurd. They know everything that's going on inside that country. And so what we said to them is, look, we're not saying it's you, but what we're saying is we want it ended, and we want you guys to, to figure out a way of ending it. The FBI is investigating the medical mystery that unfolded late last year. Employees at the Cuban embassy have reported a wide range of symptoms, from permanent hearing loss to concussions. But so far, the source is unknown. The U.S. has already taken action against Cuba by warning Americans not to travel there and pulling out 60 percent of U.S. diplomats from the embassy in Havana. And on Tuesday, the State Department ordered the expulsion of 15 Cuban diplomats from its embassy in Washington. This measure yesterday is more about reciprocity than it is about retribution. Senator Marco Rubio says it's Cuba's responsibility to protect Americans in the country, and its failure to do so must come with consequences. If we have to draw down two-thirds of our personnel in Havana, they should have to draw down two-thirds of their personnel in Washington, D.C. The Trump administration has not blamed the Cuban government, but the attacks have created a setback in the ongoing effort to restore their relationship. Weijia Jiang, CBS News, Capitol Hill. Secretary of State Rex Tillerson says the U.S. will continue diplomatic talks in Washington and will cooperate with Cuba as the investigation moves forward. The White House says President Trump remains confident in Secretary of State Rex Tillerson, despite a report that Tillerson called the president a moron and planned to resign. The Secretary of State delivered a statement today denying that he ever considered abandoning his job. However, Tillerson didn't deny an NBC News story that he had called the president a moron after a tense meeting in the, at the Pentagon in July. A State Department spokesperson de did deny that claim today. President Trump tweeted that the story was fake news and called on NBC to quote, issue an apology to America. Now at seven, a year ago, you may remember the Zika virus, a very serious concern here in South Florida as well as other parts of the country. And this year, there's been a considerable, considerable drop in the number of cases, but that doesn't mean the virus is gone. In fact, new cases of the disease are still occurring. And now today, major developments in the fight against Zika. A researcher at the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine in a collaborative effort has found a drug cocktail that has prevented Zika from in primates. Now joining us to talk more about this discovery is Dr. David Watkins from the University of Miami Miller School of Medicine. Thank you very much, Dr. Watkins, for being here. Thank you for inviting me. A and tell us about this drug cocktail. So the biggest problem with Zika infection is when a pregnant woman gets infected with Zika. And that individual will have a 40% chance of having fetal developmental problems. So this is a really serious issue for uh, pregnant women, as we know. So one can solve this problem with vaccination, and those studies are underway. We decided to come up with a different approach with our collaborators at the Scripps Institute Dennis Burton and Tom Rogers, um, and they isolated a antibody or three antibodies from somebody that had already been infected with Zika. They grew them up in the lab, and we tested them in monkeys, the most uh, relevant animal model for humans. So we gave four monkeys this cocktail of antibodies, and we had four monkeys that were um, given a placebo. We then, the day after, infected them with a highly virulent strain of Zika that we got from uh, a Brazilian colleague, uh, Myrna Bonaldo in, in Rio de Janeiro. And this virus had, was part of the epidemic there the, in 2016 that caused enormous problems in pregnant women. And much to her surprise, this cocktail 
completely prevented infection in the four monkeys that we gave it to. In the four monkeys that we gave the placebo to, the virus replicated. So this was a huge surprise to us. And we are now encouraged by this to try to go ahead. And our target is to make this available to uh, pregnant women. And it's such a scary disease and, and so mysterious, especially here in South Florida, for women who may be thinking about getting pregnant or women who are pregnant, um, as well as the rest of the population. So what does this mean now that it's been successful in primates? How close is that to, to helping humans? So what we need to do now is that we need to, um, uh, to get investment in this idea so that we can now make large quantities of these antibodies under conditions that are clean enough so that we can put them into humans. So we then need to test that these antibodies, uh, these drugs, will work in humans. So that's the next step. And, you know, I'm cautiously optimistic, although I never like to make forecasts, that maybe in two to three years we might be able to offer this to women living in a Zika endemic area or when there's an epidemic of Zika and women are planning to get uh, pregnant. So you're, you're really looking at how many years did you say? Uh, optimistically, optimistically two to three. That's, yes. that's fantastic. But you're very cautious not to use the word cure, is that correct? Oh, always very cautious uh, in science because something that works in monkeys doesn't necessarily mean it'll work in humans. And you need to have enormous respect for this virus, which uh, we still don't fully understand. Okay, but well, very encouraging very news, encouraging. right? I mean, what was the reaction when you, when you first realized how effective it was? Well, my reaction was one of complete surprise that an experiment of mine had worked. <laughs> but uh, uh, it's very rare that one gets such clear-cut results in, in science, especially when one is dealing with uh, non-human primates. Dr. David Watkins from the University of Miami, thank you very much, giving a lot of folks hope about this very uh, scary and mysterious disease. Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thanks for joining us. All right, still ahead tonight, a consumer alert for all Amazon users. And customers are reporting their packages aren't arriving despite delivery confirmations from Amazon. It's all part of a new scam. We'll explain how third-party sellers seem to be a big part of the problem. CBS 4 News at 7. We'll be right back. time for our fall sale on the only bed that adjusts on both sides to your ideal comfort, your sleep number setting. Does your bed do that? And right now, Queen Sleep Number Beds start at just $6.99. Save $200 during our fall sale, and soon. Help Covenant House keep millions of kids off the street. One nation, one night, one goal. Sign up for the annual Sleep Out for Homelessness event on November 16th, because every child deserves to be safe. More info at CovenantHouse.org. CBS4 is your home for everything Dolphins with Dolphins Weekly Live and The Adam Gase Show Sunday mornings starting at 11 plus Dolphins fifth quarter after every game. More exclusive access, more exclusive interviews by CBS4 sports pros Jim Barry and Kim Camper. No other station does it like this. Sundays on CBS4, your official home of the Miami Dolphins. Drive less, live more. Get your Miami Dade Transit Easy Card. It's how you get there. It's how I get to school and save money on gas and parking. It's how we get to school on time and safe. It's how I get home after practice fast and easy. Drive less, live more. Get your Miami Dade Transit Easy Card. It's how you get there. For easy ways to get your discount Easy Cards, go to MiamiDade.gov/transit to learn how. Rush to Edmore Sawgrass Chevrolet before these deals get sacked. Score 0% financing or get winning lease payments. A new Traverse, just $1.99. Silverado, $2.59. The savings rush is on. Click EdmoreSawgrassChevrolet.com. There's something smart helping business owners become energy-saving experts. With FPL Smart Tools and the new FPL mobile app, you can find new ways to save. Schedule a free business energy evaluation today to see how you can save up to $500 a year.
Now to a CBS News consumer alert. Amazon customers reporting that items they order from third-party vendors are never arriving, even though Amazon shows they were in fact delivered. It's a new scam. Third-party sellers sending your package to another address in your same city. Someone else ends up signing for it, creating a delivery record with Amazon. And that leads the retail giant to deny customer claims that items never showed up. CBS News spoke with one man who realized what was happening after checking with FedEx. They said, no, this was never addressed to your address. This was addressed to a corporate address. All Amazon uh, at the current time seems to check for is that the package was, shows is delivered and signed for in that same city and state. Amazon ended up giving this customer a refund after CBS News got involved. They denied his request three times before that. In a statement, Amazon says it does not tolerate fraud. The statement also says, quote, as fraudsters get smarter, so do we. One of the best ways to avoid issues with third-party sellers is to make sure you only deal with the ones that are well-established and have reviews. On the Money Watch tonight, major U.S. stock indices nudged a bit further into record territory on Wall Street. Gains for healthcare and retail companies were partly offset by declines in major technology stocks Wednesday. The Dow Jones Industrial Average gained 19 points to finish the day at 22,661. The Nasdaq edged up six points to finish at 6,534. And the Standard & Poor's edged up as well three points to 2,537. We like those arrows pointing that way. We'll be right back. We are with the new idol judges. Why they're throwing shade at Simon Cowell. Plus, Polly Perrette on her decision to quit NCIS. And Oprah takes over our set. ET's next. Lauren Pastrana and Eugene Ramirez. Weekday mornings, only on CBS 4 News. I won big with the Week for Life scratch-off game from the Florida Lottery. And I get paid $10,000 a week every week for the rest of my life. So I'm freezing myself to live longer. The new $10,000 a week for life scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. Get paid for as long as you live. How much is the competition charging you for a complete pair of eyeglasses? $250? $450? Maybe even $550? How about $69? Get the nation's best offer at My Eye Lab where you get two complete pairs of eyeglasses for $69 plus a free eye exam. Call 800 eye test for nearest location. To all the men and women that serve our country. Overseas as well as here in the U.S. We'd like to thank you for your service. For all you do for us to keep us safe. And the sacrifice that you put in for us. Thank you for all you do for our country. Thank you for serving our country. Thanks for your service. Thank you for your service. Thanks for all you do. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Brought to you by ARS. Thank you for keeping us safe at home. You put a spell on me, and I can't help but find you. Oh, let me remind you, baby. I'm coming better ready to stop feeling lucky for me, cause I'm the real thing. Right now, lease the G80 for just $389 a month. Find your nearest Genesis retailer at Genesis.com today. This is how we do it at Acura of Pembroke Pines. New 2018 TLX, $297 a month. New 2017 ILX, $167 a month. At Acura of Pembroke Pines, number one in the Southeast USA. Each year, breast cancer touches the lives of more than a million. Mammograms save families. Learn more at BaptistHealth.net slash breast health. During Spa Timber, Greater Fort Lauderdale's most awe-inspiring resort and day spas invite you to enjoy $99 spa deals. From lavish pampering to deep relaxation, get glowing at sunny.org slash spa month. How much is the competition charging you for a complete pair of eyeglasses? $250? $450? Maybe even $550? How about $69? Get the nation's best offer at My Eye Lab, where you get two complete pairs of eyeglasses for $69 plus a free eye exam. Call 800 eye test for nearest location. I won big with the Week for Life scratch-off game from the Florida Lottery, and I get paid $10,000 a week every week for the rest of my life. So I'm freezing myself to live longer. The new $10,000 a week for life scratch-off from the Florida Lottery. Get paid for as long as you live. That's our news for now. Thank you for joining us. Look for all the day's headlines tonight at 11. Have a great evening.